Move. Hello, how are you? Uh, here, this is the rooftop of Tegu Church. Uh, this is Jajin Yun. Why is it you know? And uh, my name is Jason Lee. <coughs> the title of the message today is Boundary Line. Uh, the boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have delightful inheritance. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm chapter 16, verse 1, uh, verse 6 and 11. This is one of my favorite verses. There are many terms in the Bible, but among them, the boundary line is really, really important term. God created man, God appointed the dwelling area for them inside of the Garden of Eden. In Eden, where the tree of life is growing, God led them. He specifically appointed a certain area for them. But they received the temptation of Satan and came out of that district of the fruit of life and enter into this district uh, of the fruit of good and evil. They did not stay in the district of the boundary line which God had appointed, but they went out of the boundary line and they changed the food as they entered into the district of the fruit of good and evil. They moved from the position uh, positive <coughs> district to the negative district by mistake. People who are leading their life in North Korea are staying in the living hell. They have no freedom, no human right, no right to choose where they can dwell and move. They are living as the slaves of communist leaders. If something goes wrong, they will shut to death. They must live in the forced labor, farm or mine, and the number of people who die of hunger reaches 20, 20 first, first century, uh, first twi place, first place, place in, in the, the world. world. That's why so many people risk their lives to escape from North Korea and come over to South Korea. The population of defectors reached 30,000 people. Living in North Korea district is the life in hell, and living in South Korea is the life in paradise. The borderline is that important. That is the political district, the difference between kingdom of God and kingdom of the world is the difference between the border of life and the border of death. It is so much important. Jesus defeated the intrigue of Satan, got the victory, and then he began to spread the gospels of the kingdom of heaven. Because gospel is the recovering our lost human light when God created man. God gave men authority and qualifications, but as they were tempted by Satan, they lost that uh, authority. authority and qualifications and became corrupted. It is the tragic and hopeless state of man, but from the hopeless state, Jesus saved the people and let them recover their uh, human rights. That is the gospel. Mm -hmm. Jesus let us recover the human rights and it is getting the authority God had given to the man back from Satan. Therefore, if we only get our human rights back, we can get everything back. The gospel of kingdom of heaven is the joyous news that we got our human rights back again from Satan. Adam is a man who lost his human rights, those people who lost the human rights cannot possess God's blessings. He lost his position before God. 
the sea lost all the rights and they lost all the rights. They lost all those blessings God had promised them. The land will produce thorns and thistles, and they had to sweat on the brow in order to have food. This is the miserable reality of the people who lost their position. Jesus came to the earth in order to recover human rights. Anybody who wants to recover their human rights, they must return to Jesus. Why were we created as human beings? What kind of blessings were given to us by God? Why did Jesus fight against to Satan in the wilderness? He had to get the human rights back. Jesus said, Man must live on the word that came out from the mouth of God. This is recovering human, human rights. rights. The true human rights is not possessing the splendor of the so, so kingdom of the splendor world. Splendor of the kingdom of the world, but worshiping God is the true human right. This is the true authority of man. In order to get this back, Jesus fought against Satan in the wilderness. Satan said several times, If you are a son of man, but Jesus answered, I am a man, I am a son of man. For us to, if we want to defeat Satan, we must fight against Satan with this position of man, the boundary line of man. Jesus got the victory with just position of man in the war against Satan. Those people who recover their human rights will defeat Satan surely and certainly. When we worship God, we don't need capability. Rather, we can worship God better when we are powerless. Therefore, anybody can worship God. There is no uh, exception. There is nobody who cannot take part in victory of Jesus. When people try to become like God, they cannot worship God. But if they stay at man's position, it is much more comfortable. <clears throat> Those people who, who are saying, I cannot worship God, they unconsciously become like God. That's why when Jesus talked about the kingdom of heaven, it is just like the hidden treasure uh, under the field. It is the content of human rights. The people are filled of God. Outwardly, it is the field, soil. Breath is on the tip of our nostril, but the treasure that we can lead our life with the word of God, those people who can Worship God are treasure hidden in the field who lead their life with the word of God. This is the content of human rights. Man who used to lead his life with the bread alone now became a man who lead his life with the word of God. People who wandered around to seek the splendor of the kingdom of the world now became the one who worship God. This is the hidden treasure in the field. There are people who eat the word of God and lead their life. This, these peoples are the field where the treasures are hidden. Some people who have the treasures who worship God, this is really the truthful man. Those people who own human rights are people who are living in the kingdom of heaven and pass possess. possess heaven. When this kingdom of heaven can be enjoyed by a group of people, it, became, it becomes the kingdom of God. The main ingredient of the kingdom of God is the kingdom of heaven, and the recovered human rights is the main ingredient of the kingdom of God. What is the main ingredient of church? That is the recovered human rights. Mm -hmm. What is the New Jerusalem? It is the perfect society which, are, which was con constructed with the recovered human rights. Man was created with the clay. God breath breathed, breathed, breathed the, breath, the of breath of life and became a living soul. God gave man an eternal purpose. This is the hidden treasure under the soil. 
suppose we don't have God's purpose in our life. We are just like the empty field. There is no big difference between man and animals. When we are living in Adam, we all wanted to become like lions and tigers. We all wanted to trample other people and defeat other people. But after we looked at the prototype man of the cross, ah, that very man is the one whom God wants. God wants that all mankind become like him. God wants to live with that man eternally. The God wants to eat the little lamb. He wants to put on little lamb as his garment. God wants to dwell in the house of the little lamb. He wants to dwell together eternally and become one. God's unique wish is all mankind become like that man who is crucified, that little lamb. When he lived in Adam, we hated that man, avoided that man. But as we left Adam and entered into Christ, we are gradually resembling him. Now, in fact, our wish and God's wish met together. Anybody in the world love peace who will want to fight the war? Nobody. God's unique wish is the peace and reconciliation. But as we become slaves of Satan, we led our life as enemies of God. We realize that in a deep way. As we changed our food, our physical constitution was changed, our thought structure was changed, our lifestyle was changed. It is a great revolution. Oh, just looking up to the copper snake is this. We can become liberated from the viper. Our mind was full of war, but now we are full of peace. If you fall in love with Jesus, the little lamb of God, we naturally become one and resemble automatically. As Jesus himself has the authority of reproducing God's words, he can recover our authority. Mm -hmm. Those people who have this authority in themselves can bring other people into this authority. I myself must not, uh, must must be, not the, be, must must be, be the hidden treasure in the field. Only then I can make other people hidden treasure in the field. If we don't have human rights with ourselves, how can we recover other people's human rights? The cross is God's final solution. Only cross can recover our human right. As Jesus stayed in the cross, he could recover human rights. Thus Jesus spoke in the cross standing before Satan. Only in the crucified Christ, union with God is possible. We can defeat Satan. All mankind can become one eternally. This is the eternal and unique meeting place in the whole universe. Old mankind was disappeared and new mankind was created in a new way. That is that kind of position. God's son received the curse, but the, he could not do anything but that very position. If the position he could defeat Satan, our gospel is really, really a paradoxical gospel. That's why religious people cannot digest this position absolutely. Jesus defeated Satan at this very position and brought us to the new life. He opened up the world of new creation. On the cross, we don't live on bread alone, but we live on the word of God that come out from the mouth of God. We are not the one who will possess the splendor of the kingdom of the world, but just worship God. If we look at everything from the cross, there's nothing important except the human rights. God is encouraging us to move out from the failure of Adam and return to the victory of Christ. From the effort of laws of the power of new life, this is the meaning of the repentance. Repentance is the army term. It means about face. As our human rights become recovered through Jesus, we got the higher position than angels, the position all the angels are waiting on. 
angels all adore this position. Every man must come to this position. Everyone must come to the position all the angels wait on. This is a normal position of all men. Jesus did not come to the earth in order to heal the physical diseases, but the disease of losing the human right. The chronicle the chronicle disease of all people is losing human right. We can get the recovery of human right through a certain effort, but all we have to do is just to possess the mortar mutually with Jesus as he already recovered human rights for us. Jesus also did not lend his effort to get the get his victory over Satan the same existence that we own with the truthfulness of our existence. Therefore, his victory is for all men. Christianity through all long history, those leaders who always try to lean their effort for something, mainly those people who have people have controlled Christianity. Because of those people, Jesus was misunderstood. They tried and tried, but the conclusion is we cannot walk together with him. They pushed Jesus high us to heaven and just worshipped him. God gave people seed of Jesus to grow the seed and the cultivate, but people just put the seed high on the shelf and they bowed down. This is the treasure tra tra tragedy. But we must sow the seed of Jesus, cultivate and reproduce that seed. This is our duty and assignment to make him reproduce on the earth. This is the absolute purpose of and goal of our life. Jesus got the victory at the same position that we are now. Where I was born, where I exist, that's why his victory is my victory. If we fully understand about this human right, anybody can possess this human right without exception. That's why it is the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. If we all, each one of us, become people who recovered our human rights as much as Jesus recovered, we will become proud people before Satan and before the world so that we won't be pulled by the world. We don't need to waste our life to get the empty and vainful glory of the world. We all just worship and glory God only, glorify God only. We all have to become warriors who will destroy the intrigues of Satan and recover our human rights and spread the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. Dear Lord, thank you. You came to our position. You came to our dwelling place. You came into our physical co composition. You came into our tem temperament. temperament. You recovered our human rights. You defeated our enemy Satan and shared the gospel of kingdom of heaven to us. Lord, we all want to become people who spread this gospel of recovery of human rights to all over the world, Lord. Every one of us, each one of us, we all want to receive and enjoy the recovered human rights by you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Anything to say? Um, yes, uh, today we talk about the uh, boundary line, boundary line uh, and human rights. Human rights. Um, I think that uh, uh, how about this world? Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, everybody pursue uh, to have something. I mean, mm. power. Mm -hmm. and sometimes some people wants to have money, mm -hmm. and uh, some wants to have a knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
so um, everybody hope wants to have something mm -hmm. in their life in in their life um, so um, but the problem is uh, it's not it's not allowed uh, for everybody uh, and some people who are very brilliant mm. he can he can have a uh, knowledge mm -hmm. maybe the people who is very powerful and many full of uh, many yeah. relations mm. then he can get the power maybe authority mm. Mm. he could be get the higher position yeah, in our like, society like politician yes it's a politically <laughs> and um but the, the people who is very, very poor or pu uh, pure, <laughs> poor pure. and pure, pure, yeah. poor and pure, pure. <laughs> maybe, maybe some people say that you are pu pu poor, pure, pure. <laughs> that is now is a kind of curse, <laughs> uh, uh, because is pu pure means. Pure hearted. <laughs> poor. Poor. <laughs> you have nothing. Huh? Economically poor. Uh, I mean, you know, the person who is uh, pure mm, has cannot, no money. Uh, yeah, cannot be, you know, uh, rich. Rich. Uh, because uh, we, bec we, if we want to be a uh, rich, uh, then we have to deceive other people, uh -huh. and we have to very strong mind uh, in ourselves. And, the uh, pure mind and weak mind, the kind of person cannot be rich <laughs> in this society. Yeah. Uh, so everybody wants to be a uh, higher to get something, you know. More powerful. More powerful. Yeah, but it is it is sad. Everybody can be a powerful and you know can be a rich. Then it's so it's good, but it is pos impossible. Mm -hmm. So little people, one percent of uh, our human body, can get you know kind of things. Mm. So, but other ninety nine percent of people, what is our hope? I mean, you know every. Everybody need have something in our life. Mm -hmm. So uh, I mean, you know, that's why Jesus Christ uh, come to this world and present the real hope, real wishes in our human being. Mm -hmm. So it is the it is something that everybody can have. Uh, nobody it, except just he is a human being. He can have a human right mm -hmm. because the human right is inhuman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is enough necessity to just to be a human. Then he can have a human right. Mm -hmm. So I think that it is a, it is the hope for all people in mm -hmm. the world. So um, the we our church said that just to see the cross. Jesus on the cross. It is the our position. It's a. It's not. How can I say? In our church, we see real happening in this church. Everybody can meet one place, and everybody, even he is a uh, rich, even sometimes even he is poor. Sometimes he is very good, married, happy marriage life man or woman. <laughs> But sometimes he or she, she is a widow. <laughs> but the church, everybody come to this church and we meet one place and we can happy together here. Mm -hmm. It is a real happening in the church. So that's why I think that it's not the, just a word. It is a real happening in this real society. Okay. Reality. That is the very important things. Just we say about the church and the cross, and we see the cross and the position, but it's not the if it is not the reality happening, or it is not the just in our imagination. Then what what is useful? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is it is everywhere, you know, the kind of things in 
everywhere in the books and the, you know the imagination the kind of paradise we can make but the real I mean the real happening place is only in the church I mean mm -hmm. so so that's why it's a boundary line uh -huh. and this boundary line is the church yes so uh, if you want to see real you know something then you have to come to the church and you yes. can see <laughs> We the, invite everyone. <laughs> uh, uh, you have to see, you know, what's happening in reality, in, in reality, reality in the church. Okay. So come to the church, and we really want to show the kind of uh, things in the church. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, boundary line is just like uh, the fish must live in the water. Water is the boundary line for the fish. So if fish come out of water, it dies. It becomes suffocated and die. Uh, for birds, the air is the boundary line. It can fly freely up in the air. But for the fish, if fish wants to fly, that is coming out of the boundary line. Like the same manner for human being, we must uh, look at the boundary line in Jesus Christ, the crucified Christ. So our church uh, most important focus is crucified Christ. Because outside of uh, Jesus Christ, everybody fights, everybody compete. And uh, Peace and rec reconciliation is impossible outside of Christ, outside of boundary line. So I think uh, this boundary line is very, very important. Uh, between North Korea and South Korea, there is boundary line. If North Korean people try to come out that boundary line, the soldiers will try to kill them. Uh, but South Korea has much freedom. We can go outside, we can travel to other countries. So our uh, South Korean boundary line is much bigger. But North Korean boundary line is very, very small area. So I think we are sorry for North Korean people. Someday I hope uh, they c we can be united together. So I hope uh, powerful countries like the United States will help us to be united together. <laughs> so boundary line is most important term in our social life, in our church life, in the kingdom of God, and the human relationship, and the family life. Uh, I used to be always arguing against my wife, but these days my boundary line is smaller so we don't fight any longer <laughs> so discovering boundary line is really really important praise the lord praise the lord thank you thank you <laughs>